What it do, what it do is Big Cow's RC Adventures. Again, with um, Baby Big Rock. You know what I'm saying? So, let's get it, y'all. Um, we glue this tire and the other tire back here, left and right. So, let's see what it does, y'all. Running out of door tracks, lock up MTs, uh, 14 millimeter 2.8s. Hodge boy. Yeah. Uh -huh, so, probably a couple weeks I'll have Kratos fixed. I got to uh, give me another EAC and whatnot. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I gotta get some shocks for this thing. Oh, I gotta get some shocks. Need some shocks on here badly. Then do that jump pretty good.
Ah. <laughs> oh, oh, guys! I need some shocks, y'all. These shocks are very—you have no fluid in it, so it's very, very bouncy. Very, very bouncy. But I still try to find some um, cheap shocks. I ain't trying to spend too much money. I was thinking about getting some Typhon shocks front and rear, but I ain't try to spend too much money on shocks and whatnot for this little tip scale because I mainly roll with ape scale, so. <laughs> Woo. I run it hard, baby. I run it hard.
Aha! Shot my name on the street. Shot my name on the street. <laughs> oh, I didn't cut the grass. The grass too high. Let's see, I could, I could jump this here. Got a little jump there, a little jump. I gotta bring the narrow out. Cookie monster. Barry's going down, so I'll try a couple of chumps in here. That's how you do it, baby. Ah, still lives, baby. You little plastic shit. Yes. Now let's take tires on 4S. It's been it's been uh, popped on me. Uh, but that super clutch is hot as hell. I bet that super clutch is like hot as fuck right now. <laughs> oh man. Oh, damn sharks again. That's it. Probably got some crap in the fan. I guess some here some.
Got a little fan here. Ain't the, ain't, ain't the powerful fan. It's a fan I got from uh, Trigity. But it ain't, they ain't the WTF fan or yeah, racing fan though. So um, I will get a better fan for here to put on there. Just got it on there. Yeah, battery mood. Yeah, I'm running a six thousand milliamp three uh, S battery. What not? So got a little jumper right here. So I got an EC5 on there, and my batteries are XT90. So um, this battery thing comes in. But but that slipper hot as hell though. <laughs> Actually, the slipper's loose. Yep, I gotta tighten up slipper up. Ugh. Tighten up the slipper a little bit, but these my usually um I don't want to tighten up the slipper too much. If not, um, the force of the jump and whatnot, you will snap your axles. So you do, you do want to uh, not have it too tight. If you plan on locking it up, you know what I'm saying, do speed runs and whatnot, uh, you could do that. But you're doing some hard bashing and you try not to spend some money on some cheap um, dry shafts, then you want to do not uh, over tighten your slipper clutch. You know what I'm saying? So, but it's all right. I gotta check this chassis. You ain't seeing no cracks in it because they did some hard jumps. I don't wanna trash this chassis. You know what I'm saying? So, but I don't see no cracks in the, in the chassis. So, that's good. So, but I do got some flex though. Uh, probably end up getting a diff diff brace from a 4S Outcast. I mean, uh, Creighton 4S. So, I don't want to have that much um, flex in it, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, y'all. See here? There's no shock oil. See how bouncy it is? I can, I can see this here. Look at that. It's not plush at all. No, no shock oil. Look at that. 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 Bounce that ass. Mm, mm, mm. Bounce that ass. Mm, mm, mm. Bounce that ass. Yeah, but anyway, ain't that much uh, shock oil on there. So, like I said, I am um, I have replaced the O-rings in there, new shock oil. And it's not worth my time. Keep doing that. Or call armor. And this is this, this put a warranty claim. This is bullshit with these cheap-ass shocks. So, I ain't not going to waste my time. Calling a company and see me see me out for new shocks, and it's pointless because it's just the chops are very cheap. I mean, you know, you don't have 20 bucks or whatever that, or you know what I'm saying. Genie's RC, you get you some another pair of these shocks for like they're cheap. But I'm just gonna um, again get some shocks for it and call it a day. Anyway, y'all, Big Cow's RC Adventures, man. Once again, went all right. Didn't break anything. It's my nephew's um, Big Rock 3S, so I didn't break anything. So he won't be mad at me. But um, tires holding up. Had to glue the two back ones. I just got, got that done about two hours ago. We gluing this side. This side um, came unglued when I first got these tires and ran them. I came my glue and stuff. Just, just, just the back ones. You know what I'm saying? So, just 
That's the back ones. But they are alright. They balloon though. Like crazy. But the foams are pretty firm though. I mean it's the foams are pretty good. Better than the um, stock foam. So they pretty plush. Just a balloon. So I might strap them up. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So. Yep, so I gotta tighten up the slipper clutch. Alright, y'all, how's your boy? Big Cow's RC Adventures. And probably ain't running hot though. Slipper clutch probably hot as fuck right now, so shit probably burned up. <laughs> I gotta check it out. Do some investigation. Alright, Big Cow's RC Adventure. Like, subscribe. If you want to, don't give a fuck. Hide your boy.